Hey guys, um, I am getting ready to run. I have a new shoe to test out. This is, oh. um, I'm wearing the Brooks Caldera 4. I have been an avid Hoka runner for, golly, um, uh, 2016, so four years. So um, the reason why I decided to switch over to Brooks, because as you guys can see, I run trail. I'm always on, well, uneven terrain, so I use troll shoes. Um, so I wanted to try the calderas because at my store, when we got them in um, and I tried them on, I was like, wow, these are really cushiony. They kind of felt like my Hoka speed goats that I already had. So I'm gonna take it off and show you guys. So, this is what we're gonna try out. It's got very good traction. They're light, they're very light. Has a nice wide toe box, which I appreciate. Um, but what's interesting is this, she doesn't have the Hoka Meta Rocker and all Hokas have that uh, rocking motion. So I haven't ran in a shoe or nor a normal shoe without that in four years. So it's gonna be really interesting to see how it holds up. Um, I'm gonna get ready and then I'll check in with you guys at my halfway point when I turn around and let you know how they're feeling, all right? See you then. We are at our check-in, our turnaround point. I am about a mile and a half in. So far, shoes are feeling pretty good. Even though these shoes are pretty cushiony, I still feel really connected with the earth and that's actually helping me uh, with my cadence on running. As you guys have you seen from my last videos, I've uh, trying to run at a higher cadence because I'm having like chronic IT band um, pain in both knees. So have a little bit more weight to them. These feel really light, kind of like I have nothing on my feet. Oh, it feels so good, that breeze, that breeze. Um, it's 80 degrees and very humid. I am just sweating all over, but um, yeah, so far these are feeling pretty good. <laughs> See you guys in a little bit. Oh, it's so pretty out here. get the rocks out of my shoe gig so I don't get them in my car. Eh. Okay. If not, it gets really dirty down here. Like there's rocks like everywhere. Okay, so we are back at the store. Okay, so we're gonna talk about a couple different things. Um, so the shoe, I liked it. It was okay. It was good. Um, let me tell you what I liked about it. Um, the upper is very durable. I don't think this will catch any holes. I don't think any roots will catch it and make holes. Like the upper is really well made. The toe box is wide. Like this shoe did fit wider. So I had to really like cinch in the lacing right there just so I can get a secure fit um, when I'm running. Um, but I did like it though. I like how wide the shoe is. Um, another thing that I liked a lot, and I think that my knees liked, was how light it was. It was it's about 8.9 ounces, and that's pretty light for this shoe. I mean, you get a lot of cushioning. Sorry, they're dusty on the bottom. Um, you get a lot of cushioning. I mean, this is a pretty lightweight trail shoe in my opinion. Of course, there's lighter ones out there, but when you take the weight away, you also take away away from the cushioning. And I'm a person who really appreciates some cushioning. Um, anyway, um, so I was talking about their midsole material. It's actually the Brooks BioMogo DNA, not the loft cushioning, but it's still super, super soft. 
I think maybe in, in the next model they'll have the loft cushioning. But anyway, it's just the midsole cushioning. It was very, it's very soft. Um, it's more, it's soft when you're walking, when you're running, it's more responsive, more, you get more of a bounce back um, from the shoe. Now the lugs are really impressive. Like the outsole, which is this part has some great lugs, really, really good for traction. There wasn't a lot of slipping. I mean, like I tripped on rocks cause I mean, it's impossible not to, but um, this felt like there was great tractions all over it. Um, what I also like, oh, there's a gator trap, huh. I'll never use a gator trap, but just saying. Um, I really enjoyed the feel of this and the lightweightness. And I'm pretty sure, um, I think I read online that um, this outsole is uh, really, really great for like rainy days or uh, if it's raining or a lot of mud, it has really good traction. So that's really good to me because the more unstable you are, um, when trail running, the more you can injure yourself. Hint me with the knee issues. But um, I really loved it. Uh, I think I made a good decision. I don't switch up my shoes often because shoes can get really, really expensive. It's definitely an investment, but to me, it's a worthwhile investment, especially if you're going to be running, uh, working out, you need to invest in good shoes so you don't get injured. So you can keep on keeping on. Give the Brooks Caldera 4 a try and let me know what you think about them down in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching. If you would, please like this video. And if you would also subscribe, um, let me know what you want to see from me next. I've got a couple suggestions about doing a hydration vest. So I just got to find all my components because I think I lost a lot of stuff. But I can still probably give a review on hydration vests, especially when it gets colder because they are great in cold weather. All right. Guys, stay safe and love each other, and I'll see you in the next one.